meiosis consists of two consecutive nuclear divisions per round of DNA replication. The two, called meiosis I and meiosis II, result in four haploid nuclei. A key difference between meiosis and mitosis comes very early in the first prophase. Mitotic chromosomes are independent of one another. But in prophase I of meiosis, homologous chromosomes synapse. They pair up tightly. This diploid nucleus has two pairs of homologous chromosomes, n equals 2 and 2n equals 4. Note that the pairs have synapsed. During prophase I, there is genetic exchange, crossing over between chromosomes. Chiasmata are visible evidence of crossing over. Prometaphase begins as the nuclear envelope disappears and the spindle invades the nuclear space. Pairs of homologous chromosomes move together to the equatorial plate for metaphase I. Now comes the second key difference between mitosis and meiosis I. In anaphase of mitosis, the chromatids separate. In anaphase I of meiosis, the homologous chromosomes separate. The chromosomes moving to the poles in anaphase I consist of two chromatids each. This step reduces the chromosome number from diploid to haploid. Following telophase I, there may be an interphase called interkinesis. The third key point about meiosis is that there is no S phase, no DNA replication in interkinesis. The second meiotic division, meiosis II, looks very much like mitosis of a haploid cell. The only significant difference is that because of crossing over in prophase I, the chromatids differ genetically. In anaphase II, the chromatids finally separate. Remember that they stayed together in anaphase I. At the end of meiosis, we have four nuclei, each with half the chromosome number of the original nucleus. Each differs genetically from the others.